Downloading, downloading, downloading. Let's take a look at her skins. Numero uno. Numero duo. Numero trois. I didn't come out of retirement Cut. just to stand around. Sank. Number five. Six. Number seven. Fourteen teen. Twenty second. Twenty second hive. Fifty five. I must hit my skill shots. Yep. Let's get to work. Select enemy hero. Kaltuzad. All in way Seventeen hundred forty-nine health. Ana has 1749 health with a regen of 3.64, 500 mana as usual with a 3 regen, 6.5 attack range just like Nova and Rainer and post quest completion Zul'jin. Attack damage of 31 with 1.33 attacks per second, attack. which is pretty low damage but it should be kept in mind that she has strike. Basic attacks apply a dose to non-structure enemies, dealing an additional 46 damage over 5 seconds, stacking up to 5 this times. Hitting once will do 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. How many times is that? Looks like it does 10 ticks per I'm half ready. second. For a total of 46 damage. On the move. If you hit twice, it will do eight, 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 eight. If you hit Any once, contact. wait, hit again, it will switch to an eight. Will it switch back to four? No, it will stay at that. So even if you attack at the final five seconds, does it do eight for five seconds? Yes. Okay. Eleven ticks. Uh -huh. Understood. Orders received. Okay, interesting interactions for her shrike. Now healing dart with a range that is pretty big. Heading out. On a two second cooldown. You heal for two sixty. And of course, aim will be important. A pretty cool new take on the healing Let's abilities. Uh, keep in mind that you can shoot through enemies. It only hits allies. And it is your spammable healing spell. Very cool. Then you've got Biotic Grenade on a 16 second cooldown that can hit allies and enemies alike. It will hit allied heroes and enemy heroes, giving allied heroes health as well as amplified healing for a period of four seconds, quarter extra healing from any sources, and enemies will not receive any healing for a period of two seconds, be it from regeneration, uh, life drain, loss, I mean anything, Gul'dan, all of Gul'dan self heal, allied healers, regeneration globes, healing fountain, everything. During those seconds, no healing. As they said in the spotlight video, it will be key for the opponent oh, to counterplay this by giving tomorrow. shields. Medivh's Force of Will, Earth Shield Rhaegar, Tassadar Shields, Zarya Shields, and so on and so forth. That will be the counterplay to this. So this is a pretty nice tool to go up against double support comps, hyper carry comps as well. This is how it looks. We'll remove the cooldown so we can spam up a bit. So we see how it looks. The area of effect is as follows. And there you see that minus 100 doesn't get the healing for a while. 
casting out on an ally it looks like this and because it should be showing the healing amplified heal indicator but apparently it doesn't work on the target dummy but that's fine Enemy in my sights. moving on her sleep dart a fire a dart very thin bezel you see thin skill shot that fires a dart that puts the first enemy hero hit to sleep rendering them unable to act for three seconds after the first half second if they take damage sleep ends let's get to work there seems to be a very small wind up as you can see in the animation enemy contact just a bit of a wind up that delays its impact if you attack the sleep effect is ended 14 second cooldown 50 mana doesn't do any damage on the move slash dance slash taunt so cranky you need a nap So cranky, you need a nap. Hmm, nice voice line to your allies too sometimes. Okay, her talents. Let's go to level 20. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Her grenade will also counter ancestral healing. Yes, Abzuk PBLC. Can you sleep dart your allies? No. It's enemy heroes. Hit enemy heroes with biotic grenade. After you hit them, deals more damage per allied and enemy hero hit. Choose a talent. So we'll complete the quest. And then we'll throw a grenade. Wait, huge area, right? That's the second component. Its healing radius is increased by 100%. And biotic grenade's duration on allies is increased from 4 to 12. So the amplified healing element of 25% will last 12 seconds instead of 4 and the healing radius is increased. So the inner circle is the effect radius of the damage, I suppose. Yeah, and the outer radius is the heal. Interesting. Now what about that 75% increase? Allied heroes hit are healed for 384. Oh. 480 because I hit this target in addition to healing. And it's per allied and enemy hero hit. But it deals more damage, so it also heals for more. They say it deals more damage, but it heals for more. Let's get to work. Three twenty nine. Hmm, interesting. Oh no, it's because I'm I'm spamming it, right? No. It's healing for more because it's buffed by the healing buff. Hmm, the amplified heal. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, because of the twelve second period, right? Ah, uh, that makes sense. Okay, so it will just deal more damage when you hit more peeps. Cool. Uh, the Choose other level one, piercing darts. After you hit 10 heroes, sleep dart now hits two heroes and its range is increased Choose by 50%. Wow. This is much better than retirement. <laughs> Lol. It's going to be a little bit hard to hit. Healing dart. After hitting 20, healing dart now hits two heroes and its range is increased by 50 percent huh oh healing dart oh wow understood Interesting. And then finally, choose a talent. 
Detachable Box Magazine. Stack five doses on an enemy hero. It's an activatable, by the way. After, what is this? Instantly, oh, never mind. What are doses? On the move. Doses? They don't explain anywhere where doses are. Trade? Ah, they do explain what doses are. I'm on the attack. Ding. Oh, you need to wait till the damage is gone before you can start stacking it again. Okay, interesting. So you can't just keep attacking one by spamming it. All right, so five doses and then you get a quest stack and you have a maximum of 15. After you reach five maximum doses stacks, doses deal increased damage to enemies with five doses. After you reach maximum dosage 15 times, unlock the activatable reload ability, which can be activated to instantly gain three charges of healing dart. Okay, let's try that out. So, you normally have the two seconds cooldown, right? Take your medicine. This one is very cool. Three thousand eight hundred and nine healing. <laughs> if you first get the amplified heal, but you need the aim, right? It's gonna be harder while you're like playing. Three thousand eight hundred and nine, and you can do this at a pretty big range. Pretty darn cool. This hero is very fun so far. A skill shot. Support. Moving on to tier 4. Airstrike. Activate to use biotic grenade with a 200% increased range. But grenades thrown this way take 4 seconds to land. Choose a talent. Reduce biotic grenade cooldown by 4 seconds passively. So from 16 to 12. Understood. But I say activate. I did not activate it. Ah, it shares a cooldown. This is much better than okay, so it shares a cooldown. You can either choose to use it or not to use it. The cooldown itself is reduced as baseline by 4 seconds. And if you use airstrike... It has greater range. <laughs> Acknowledged. <laughs> oh yeah, it does damage too. You can poke down keeps. It's not fast. I will feel this tomorrow. But you can poke down keeps. And soon when they remove Mule from Abathur. So every 12 seconds we do 132 damage. And a keep has how much HP? I did it three times. I would mm, probably just going to do a quick estimate. 15,000. I think maybe you can kill a keep in 10 minutes. Maybe about 10 minutes. And if you hit heroes with the level 1 quest, 
You deal more damage if you hit allied and enemy heroes. Interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright. Moving on to the next one. Overdose. Hitting enemies with sleep dart and biotic grenade applies two doses. Auto attack once. E. Wait a minute. Sleep's effects instantly end if the target takes damage after the first half second. On the move. He's dying in his sleep. It doesn't wake them up, does it? I'm on the attack. I mean, I get that the ability wouldn't work without it, but still. I guess DOT doesn't work, but then the, the wording is not correct, right? Her doses don't break sleep and of course it should work that way, but it's not worded, okay? Anyway, uh, okay, so hitting with a sleep dart or biotic grenade applies doses. So that's pretty cool. And if you combine that with the uh, level one increased dose damage, that's very cool. Very cool indeed. Lots of potential there. Choose Moving the on to the next level four. Shrike can be activated to increase vision radius by 100% and basic attack range by 2, but reduce movement speeds by 20%. Lasts until cancelled. Ooh. There's a 10 second cooldown to reactivate it. Whereas after you activate it, it takes 3 to cancel it again. So 10 and 3 second cooldowns respectively. And uh, you get the bonus range of vision and attack. So your attack range goes to 8.5. I'm going in. On the move. Interesting. Very interesting. Very curious to try that out. Moving on to level 7. Sleep dart. When it wears off, the targets are also blinded for 2 seconds. Really straightforward, really straightforward, effective, nice counter to some heroes like Illidan, Raynor, what have you. You blind them and then they come out, I mean you sleep them and then they come out blinded. Whether or not it's prematurely ended the effect. Heading out. Very neat. Mind numbing agent. Every dose a hero has reduced, every dose a hero has reduces their spell damage by 15%. Choose a talent. 15, 30, 45, 60, and 75%. There's some definitely very strong combo potential when we pick. Certain talents together. Choose a talent. Like this. So we get the uh, increased range on sleep dart. You can hit two heroes. Much better than retirement. Sleep dart applies doses. I'm on the attack. And it reduces their spell power. All from very far away indeed. There's a lot of talent synergy in our kit so far. A lot of potential. And then finally. Choose a talent. Debilitating Choose dart. A talent. Activate to fire a dart which reduces the damage dealt by the first enemy hero it hits by 50% for 4 seconds. Choose a talent. There's that animation that we are aware of now. The shrink owl. The shrink ray. 50% reduction, 4 seconds. That's the classical chosen amount usually. 45 second cooldown puts it on the slightly longer side of cooldowns. The dart doesn't deal any damage, by the way. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Doesn't do any damage. Feel this tomorrow. 
Heroics now, finally. Heroics. Nano boost. Instantly boost an allied hero, restoring zero mana. While this is a bug, I can tell you the real amount because we just saw it in the description. 200 mana. Restore 200 okay. mana. <laughs> For the next 8 seconds, they also gain 30% spell power and their basic ability cooldowns regenerate 2.5 times as fast. This Insane! Choose a talent. Nano boost administered. This is a very strong ability. It's going to be so amazing with Kel'Thuzad. Maybe with this, Kel'Thuzad can one-shot people. That'll be so sick. Uh, the other one, Choose Eye talent. of Horus. Assume a sniping position, gaining the ability to fire up to eight rounds with unlimited range. You can hit structures for less damage, heroes for some damage, or heal allies for a lot. And you can't move Choose during it. The ghost. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh. Huh? All in way effort. Oh. 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 Yeah. It shows when you're hitting a structure? No, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't. Sometimes it does. All right. No, it shows when you're hitting something, period. Blue for healing something, so that even when you're... Oh, that's very smart AI. Blue for healing. Like, oh, the target dummy is in range, target dummy is not in range. Because that's, that's such an elegant way of dealing with the massive range of it. To show whether you're hitting something... Oh, it even shows the portrait. Oh, that's so well UI'd. Well UI'd. Of course, it doesn't show it if it's not in range. On the move. The ghost watches. Very sweet. Well UI'd. Okay, uh, and of course during this you cannot move. If you move, it actually go. Wait. Wow. Eight charges. If you move, it puts it on a full cooldown, without using the rest. All right, understood. So you must shoot all eight charges during it. You are a sitting duck during it. It does have global range, so there's no reason to use it point blank like some of the quick match novas might do uh one more thing that i want to test how fast can you shoot in rapid succession once per second can you imagine the feeling of hitting all eight on someone doing 3069 damage at level 20 like not even missing one. That's going to make for some awesome skill videos, doesn't it? And finally, one more test. What happens if you don't shoot at all? Setting up my nest. 10 second cooldown. Just like cancelled heroics function. And keep in mind, it's a global range. Very, well. Very cool. And it's pretty much instant... No, not pretty much. It's an instant hit. At the speed of light. Awesome. Moving on to the level 13s. Speed Serum. Serum. Healing Dart grants 25% movement speed to affected heroes for 2 seconds. Which is kind of cool because it's on a 2 second cooldown to begin with. <laughs> Keltizan, you bastard. Okay. So this is very rem reminiscent of Zul'jin's uh, level uh, 13 ability. Also 25% move speed, 2 seconds. But this is on a 2 second cooldown. Very cool. 
it's gonna feel very cool to use and, uh, and and speed up your allies and save your allies with this funnily enough it doesn't make the next one harder to hit because by that time the effect ends again healing dart removes roots and slows from the target and heals from 20 percent more when doing so that seems a lot better i mean it's always this it's always this um decision you need to make do you remove the root and slow which impede movement or do you, can you move speed increase during sweet summer child moments but the healing 20 percent more while doing so just seems to kind of make the decision easier but there's always a chance opponent doesn't have slow or root and it doesn't work on stun silence blind I would say generally purifying darts is better, but I can see where speed serum would still have uh, advantages. But I think purifying mostly is better. Smelling salts. Healing dart removes stuns from the target. I just want to kind of say like how crazy it is to have all these on a two second spammable ability. Remove stuns and grants. Oh, come on. Did we not learn from Uther? And this is so much easier to proc than Uther. At least Uther had 8 to 12 second cooldowns. Oh, I'm gonna smell some salts alright when when people use this. Don't give 50% armor on stuns. Make it like, like Uther is now. 15%, 35%, whatever. It's not that hard to hit this one because it's so spammable. Let's get to work. Plus, stunt targets don't move. How long does it give armor? Two seconds. Still, the fact that purifying dart heals for more when doing roots and slows, and sometimes you're not against stunning enemy heroes, purifying could still be very good. But I think when you look at all these, speed serum is the worst. But again, we have to test and we'll see. Let's... Reserve judgment. We are not witch hunters, are we? Burn the witch. Sharpshooter. Healing darts healing is increased by 5%. Each time it heals a hero. Up to 50%. This bonus is reset if healing dart fails to hit a hero. Wow. Affirmative. Choose a talent. Take your medicine. That is uh, very reminiscent of Brightwing's level 20, which works on people in her trade. Much better than oh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, choose a talent, choose a talent. Uh. Choose a talent. Wait, did I miss it? Where was that activatable for the for the healing darts? Oh yeah, this one. Choose a talent. 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 Understood. Alright, oh yeah, complete the quest. Remove the cooldowns for a sec. So you throw a long distance uh, healing thing. Of course, now I didn't have the quest. So it's 4,100 if you do it kind of from the baseline or with like one stack. 
And if you have your stacks completed and you haven't missed recently, then it's 5,524. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. Uh, looking at the next level 16s. Choose a talent. Concentrated doses. Increase healing darts healing by 10% for each dose active on enemy hero. Ooh, Choose a talent. What? Really? Alright, let's choose a proper choose a talent, talent build for this. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Acknowledge. Choose a talent. You want regret. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Enemy contact. Understood. Restoring your health. Interesting. Enemy contact. <laughs> On the move. Alright, well the sharpshooter actually seems better, probably. Probably. It is it is a pretty big heal to do 1.3k. And it should be remembered that again this one can be combined with the uh, detachable box magazine. And actually Choose let's just talent. try it. Let's just try it. Choose a talent. 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 Enemy contact. The pain is coming. First blood. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, first of all, I mean, I need higher health, first of all, so, and let me change, because I didn't do the full combo, I actually want to see, <laughs> can't self-heal too well, actually, that's, that's our big weakness, isn't it? Well. Alright, let's try again. Yeah, grenade heals yourself. Uh, but dart, dart doesn't. So this is definitely a weakness. I would go ahead and recommend everyone to definitely focus Ana as much as you can. Enemy in my sight. Seven thousand two hundred thirty-nine. I mean, who really needs that much healing? On the move. Still pretty cool. <laughs> That's with concentrated doses. And the next level 16, Biotic grenades, Grenade heals for 30% more per allied and enemy hero hit. Whoa. <laughs> pretty darn cool as well. Very nice for those. Very messy... Uh, woven fights where everyone weaves into each other uh, a lot of chaos interesting and then level 20 Acknowledged. allies affected by nano boost heal for 50 percent of spell damage dealt and they already have 30 percent more whoa ballistic advantage eye of horus Rounds explodes upon impact, healing nearby allies for 658 and dealing 329 to nearby. So that's the same as the base pretty much. 658 is the same. 329 is just a little bit less than the primary target. Explodes upon... Okay, I want to try that out. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Pretty darn cool, pretty darn cool. Somnolent? How do you pronounce that? Somnolent?
Somnolent. Just like that. Somnolent doses. Upon stacking five doses, heroes are put to sleep for two seconds. Wow. Interesting. So with some of those overdosing, you can put a lot of heroes to sleep. So keep switching targets. Not going to be easy though, considering she has so little survivability herself, but interesting. Dynamic shooting. Basic attacks increase attack speed by 10% for 4 seconds up to 100%. So within that, within that period of um, 4 seconds, you can refresh the 4 second period. I will feel this tomorrow. Interesting. I don't know if it's going to be the right one, but it's definitely super interesting. 2.67 attack speed. Very interesting. Custom optics. Increase the aim down sight's basic attack range bonus from 2 to 4. Wow, oh, that's really good. Uh, I would say that's a fair bit better. Wait. Oh yeah, you need to pick it. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. So when you activate your trait, instead of going from range 6.5 to 8.5, you go to 10.5. 6.5 out of 10.5. Ten and a half still doesn't seem that good. I understand that it is good. I mean, it is what it is, right? I guess that's pretty safe. Enemy in my sight. All right, interesting. Four range bonus sight reduce movement speed and that ladies and gentlemen is Anna the 60 year old Egyptian grandmother from Overwatch a skill shot snipering support my shots find their marks hopefully or you'll be useless so cool Make for an admirable ally. 